I've worked, I think, at pretty much every level of Amnesty, from the governance team to local groups to being an individual member. And um, I think that what I've found that I work on now is one of the things that's been most satisfying, which is working with the Environmental Defenders Network. Because if you don't deal with the human aspect of an issue, then you very rarely will be able to resolve the environmental aspect as well. One classic example of that would be the Niger Delta in Nigeria, where for decades there has been catastrophic levels of oil pollution, which has had an appalling impact on the lives of millions of people living in that community. It's destroyed vast tracts of what's one of the world's largest wetlands, and the people who live in and around that area, their, their livelihoods from fishing, from agriculture and everything, are extremely badly affected by this. For me, it's really important to be of use in your community, be of value in what you do. Um, and I think that Amnesty has given me far more in that respect than I have given it. I also get immense satisfaction when one of the actions that we work on is successful and we actually get a positive result. It gives a sense of worth, I think, to what I do and it um, also means that I'm also making some contribution in some ways towards a better world. I mean, the world will never be perfect um, and that's why Amnesty, I suspect, will always be needed um, because we can make a difference by chipping away at things but there will always be other issues which will come up which we will have to deal with.